Joining us now is terrorism analyst Tom McCutis. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. Uh, what impact does four days have on Hamas trying to regroup, reorganize? I don't think it'll have very much uh, I impact on that because they're not allowing just anything to come in. You can be sure those trucks will all be carefully searched and certified as only carrying humanitarian relief. And, you know, the fuel is probably not enough to make a difference in military operations. So I don't, I don't think um, in that regard it's going to affect, you know, the operations. Talk about the negotiations that took place. Qatar was involved in this. And uh, talk about why only 50 hostages. And does that mean we're going to have another pause to release more later? Well, there's been mounting pressure over the past week, couple of weeks, both from the Biden administration, but also from the families of the hostages. And let's not forget, Netanyahu will still have a great deal to answer for as to why uh, the incursion of October 7th even happened. So I think this was a strategic political move. Um, and of course, Hamas is not going to give up the hostages until I think it gets something more substantial. So I'm not sure how this will go. And he's giving up the women, the children. They're giving up the women and the children, which I think, you know, really is a smart move too, because it they kind of it doesn't help their cause at all to continue to hold on to them. The other great thing is that you know when you get a pause like this, it creates an opportunity, however slim, for further negotiations and possibly some way of resolving this without, you know, more bloodshed. Uh, Tom, tomorrow we have Thanksgiving parades, things that are very public targets. Do you, what are your thoughts about domestic terrorism uh, as this moves forward? Well, the, the FBI has already told us they have strategic warning, but nothing particular to worry about. You can be sure of that in, you know, in New York, for example, for the Macy's Parade, there will be ramped up security. All I can say to ordinary people is don't take yourself hostage to fear. The odds of anything happening to you are, are, are pretty remote. So I think, you know, you might see increased security at the football game tomorrow and, and, and other kinds of events. But so far, we don't we don't see any clear indication. And then the greatest threat, again, is a lone wolf, and you can't predict what they're going to do. All right, Tom McCutis, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you, Tom. Happy to help. Let's get a check of the weather. Morgan. Hey, sure.